Welcome back to another episode on my single player world. Uh, this episode we're going to work in the area around here. The slight issue is I've only left myself about 12 blocks, I think, in which to build stuff. Not an awful lot of space, but we're going to attempt to put stuff here. Now, one thing I want to do is build a tavern, because I have already built uh, an inn, kind of. This poor excuse of a build. Uh, I, I built uh, an inn, this is an inn, uh, which, you know, could double up as a tavern, but I thought, why not dedicate... Uh, another area to a more specific build. Now, just because I'm building a tavern doesn't mean I endorse tavern activities, so keep that in mind as you watch this video. Unfortunately, must, much like the, the bakers, the bakery, when I uh, was looking for ideas, most of the builds I saw were very much, uh, how should I put it, grand and independent. We obviously don't want grand, we obviously don't want independent, we just want this build to fit in nicely with the city. This is kind of a, a weird place to put it because obviously we've got the butchers. Actually no, it's not weird at all because I was going to say this is like two farm buildings but they're not farm buildings at all. This is a butcher and this is a place where you can get wool and shoot it if you want. Yeah, it's not too bad a place to put it, it's just off the main street. We'll probably put the tavern here and other builds can go over there. Now I'm not sure how big we're going to make it, I'm just going to think about that right now. Oh dear. We've had a bit of an invasion. I wonder if I can bow spam him away. This could be a big mistake. Yeah, why not? Hello! Okay, didn't see me there. <laughs> Alright, well, fair enough. Okay, so unfortunately because we are working with a street that's only three wide, there's only a limited amount of things we can do. I had a look at a lot of designs and they had, you know, cool balconies and all that sort of stuff, but unfortunately we won't be able to pull any of that off simply because of the position. I mean, who, who knows, we might be able to do another tavern somewhere else and make it a bit different, um, but for now we'll just do a, a plain and simple one in one of the back streets. To start off with, I decided to go for a stone brick and spruce combo. I am aware we are using very much the same sort of blocks everywhere, but you gotta keep in mind that with such a theme, there's very little scope for variation. Oh, look at this. The, the sheep shop is just a block away from the one of the pillars that I'm implementing for the tavern. Which is good and bad. Yeah, I, d I don't really mind. I, d I, d I don't mind an awful lot. I, I, I said this in a previous video, although I think I cut it out. Uh, but basically, I'm okay with the build being in such close proximity just because of the nature of this whole project. I, I'm, I'm okay with them being like side by side. I mean, look at this. It's very weird, but I think it's kind of cool. It doesn't look so great from up here, but I mean, we're not going to be up here. Well, we are, but we're not. We're we're up there now, but we're not going to be up there forevermore. So it's all good. Um, all right, let's see. I'm going to put the door. Uh, should I put the door? I think I will put the door in the middle. I was trying to decide if I would have this the, the door in this section or in either of these sections. I think it would be better just to go and put it in the middle. Stick it in the middle. Keep it. Keep it simple. Alright, so I'm liking that so far. Uh, I'm taking inspiration, again, from uh, other people's projects, but I'm hopefully not going to be copying straight off. I'm taking inspiration from other people's builds. There's very, very good stuff online. Let's put that in place here. Alternatively, we could go for a dark oak sort of thing. Dark Oak might look better because it's, yeah, it's slightly closer and it's obviously not been used. Okay, it was used. It was used in the sheep uh, shop, but that's okay. I think we'll use Dark Oak mm. for the roof, possibly. Mm. Um, let's see. I, I really wanted to try something like this, mm. right? So we'll, we'll put part of the roof here. 
and hopefully this will work out. But then we'll ha it'll be it'll this will just be like a lower section of roof. The main section of roof will be higher up. That's the whole idea here. Uh, so we've got that in place. Now we could just do that, right? And then, oh, you know what might look cool is maybe some plants at the front, similar to what we did at the post office. <laughs> the post office, let's not talk about that build. So we're going to get some trap doors going here. I think that might look pretty cool. And then, I hmm, we could make the windows like three wide or whatever this is. One, two, three. Let's do that and that. Should we do, should we do white stained clay? Uh, white stained glass rather, just because we got it. That might look cool actually. I might change the logs. I'm not. I'm not satisfied with the logs being in place like that. Maybe we could use uh, regular spruce wood. How does that look? I think that looks better. I mean, we could just go for a classic. Well, not classic. A simple. Uh, stone brick look. Let's see how this looks. I feel like though there needs to be more variation. Yeah, and no, I like that better. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I like that a lot better. There we go, that's alright. We don't have many of the other flowers, like the flowers you get in flower forests. I mean, I know where there's flower forests in my world. I've just never had a chance to go and farm flowers there. Um, one day, hopefully. If ever we get this blinking build done, I'll go and work on a, another flower farm or something. So far, I'm happy with it. I'm not going to lie. Um, we might go for... We could go for some sort of an archway for the entrance. Because obviously it does not need to be uh, just a, a straight-up door like that. I mean, maybe a straight-up door would look nice, but I'm happy to experiment. Okay, you know what? Stuff it. Let's just do that. That looks really, really strange. Maybe some fences might help. Iron bars! Nah, I don't think we'll use iron bars right now. Let's go for spruce. Or wait, maybe, 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 maybe dark oak. Dark oak might look better. Uh, I just feel like there, there needs to be something here that's slightly different. Just want to point out I've been using the inn as a kind of storage room and I actually sorted out the chests the other day. I was like, oh, I'm tired of having <laughs> having uh, items everywhere, just random items in random places, so I actually got the stuff sorted. So that's good. There we go, I don't think that looks too bad. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. Uh, as for the front, now just to be clear, the roof doesn't start there. I think we're going to have a second floor, so like windows and stuff here, and then the, the real roof is going to be up here. This is going to be very, very tight. Very tight for space. Keep in mind though, keep in mind, uh, I've been in like I've been looking at a lot of medieval streets uh, on the internet since starting this, and they are, believe it or not, quite narrow. Uh, I guess obviously that was just the way the way things were done back then. Obviously there was no cars; you didn't need like dual carriageways or anything to get huge HGVs past. Um, but they were very narrow because obviously horse and cart that was possibly the the biggest sort of uh, vehicle you would get back then, otherwise most people would just walk. So, I, you know, I'm happy with a, a street this wide to uh, give us a medieval impression. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this is, because like, I've got another build planned, which is actually similar to a tavern. I'm not going to say what it is yet, because it's an idea I've had for a long, long time, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit different, and a little less medieval. Um, but I, I am going to put something alongside it, so we're just going to cover these walls like that for now, and then we'll work, we'll focus on the the main part of the build, which is here. So I've started the upper level. The windows will not be as high as they are at the bottom, simply because I don't want the build to get too tall. Um, we do have the massive shop over there. We've got the uh, wherever that is, the end or whatever, uh, and those are both still higher, which is fine. Um, this gives us scope to do the roof in that, which is what I want. I have done quite a bit on the tavern since my last clip. Uh, this is it's quite funny because I've had... It's been an on-off, honestly, with this series over the last like five or so episodes. Because if you remember uh, episode, I think, 201 or something, we built these builds here. And although I was happy with the bakery, 
I wasn't so sure about the post office. But then the next episode, we built the butcher. And I was really happy with the butchers. That was good. That was fine. Episode after that, we built the sheep shop, which I was a bit iffy on. But now we're back onto something that I'm happy with. I am uh, really enjoying doing this build. Uh, I'll show you what I did for the roof. It's kind of strange. I did a cobble outline with dark oak in the middle. And at the top, I did half slabs. I've never really done this before. I've usually just gone for flat tops, as you can see. But I, instead of just going for a flat top, I opted for some sort of a, a gentle incline using half slabs. Not entirely convinced I like the beam at the top, this beam of dark oak. But we can make it work, I feel. Uh, oh, oh well. <laughs> I was going to try and add something there, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's work on the insides a bit. First off, I think... I think the main... I think we'll do uh, cobble. I kind of want to do a cobble floor, but then again, you know, we've already done cobble for the roof. I guess we could do oak maybe for the floor. That might look okay. Uh, let's get some gravel. We'll get some gravel down, so there'll be like gravel in the entrance. Like that. It's a pretty big entrance to be fair for a, a build like this, but okay, we go in and then there's going to be, I think, a staircase down. Again, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to look. We might do carpet. Carpet might be a, a, a nice option. Maybe red carpet? See, red carpet is about the only th type of carpet I like to use. I can't think of anything else that would go well. Uh, let's get some jack-o'-lanterns. What the heck? I thought we had jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, so far, I think the oak is alright. Uh, we're going to have to... If we're going to have an upper level, which I kind of do want... We're going to have to have a staircase somewhere. Probably here, because on this wall there isn't anything to... You know, we can't have a staircase here because there's windows. Uh, so we'll have to have it either on this wall or this wall. Actually, no, we could have on this wall. Um, let's do something like this. Just to, I guess, make the wall a wall and not an empty space. Let's do something like that here, just for... Good measure, and then yeah, we'll just we'll just uh, go back to our flat wall of boringness. We could, in theory, just go like this. We could do one on each side. That might look cool. Yeah, this this might work actually. Uh, let's see. We're gonna craft ourselves some stairs. And does it? Yeah. Oh wait, we've not done the windows this side. Haha. <laughs> whoops. All part of the plan, folks. All part of the plan. Uh, this torch probably won't stay. Well, it might stay. Who knows? So I've done a bit more. Uh, I've done a why. I was gonna record, but then the thing is, I've had to do other stuff. Uh, so I've been like, you know, doing this and then doing other stuff, then doing this, then doing other stuff. And if I one straight recording would be a lot. So I've I've just not recorded, <laughs> which is kind of bad. I have made progress on the build, specifically inside. So here we are, as you can see. Uh, it looks, I think it looks alright inside. I like the oak, do you know why? Because it gives a light feeling. I had to look at some builds online, and a lot of them, there was a mixture. Some had dark, dingy indoors, some had very bright indoors and I, I like the bright option you know it's supposed to be a warm place a friendly place a place where you can come and relax and I, I feel that the oakwood does uh, justify that sort of a theme uh, we've got stairs here they go all the, way, all the way up to the next level I was thinking of having another level uh, I hmm, we could in theory maybe if we had a staircase that started here oh. I'm just not sure how uh, how worth it it is. No, because I mean, look, we're right in the wall there. Oh, wait, I don't want that. Yeah, unless we do something like this, which might not look amazing, but we'll see. I was thinking of having, like, rooms, you know, places you could uh, sleep and whatnot, but I don't know. Maybe we should just leave it until later, <laughs> work on that another day. Um, I mean, we've already got an inn, which could technically double up as a tavern. Yeah, yeah, I, I think this can work. We can have another level. Why not? Why not? Um, that'll make it easier to work on those windows. Uh, uh, up here, I'm not entirely sure what like what we can do. Uh, I, I'm not too fussed at the minute with uh, adding furniture or details or whatever. So I've got the tavern to a point where I'm happy with what I've done. Um, 
I I really do like it. It's I think it's got quite, it's got a bit of detail in it. Uh, the, I guess the one issue is round the back. It doesn't look so good. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah, see see what I mean. It's kind of like a flat wall. But I mean, there's a fence right there, so there's not an awful lot you can really add. The reason there's no window there is because that cone that area is adjacent to the third no the second staircase the staircase that goes up to the top floor so i mean i could put glass there i just don't think it would look as good uh this is what it looks like at the side i i'm fairly happy with it we could i guess have logs sticking out here but I'd, I'm, I'm fine with how it looks we've got a good mix of flowers i actually do like the flowers like the the range of flowers that we got there. I think they really add to the build. Inside, uh, it's bright. Uh, we've got a nice red carpet, changes in elevation, and obviously we've got the staircase that goes up to this floor here. We've got a few pillars, uh, and then this goes up again to another floor here. Whether I will use these floors for like sleeping areas or just part of the tavern, uh, I'm not sure, you know, part of the bar area. Um, but overall, I'm happy with how things are laid out, and I am content to move on. Um, actually, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. <laughs> um, I, it, I mean, it took a few hours, but it's it's really pleasing how quickly the build went up, and I I really do like it. I don't think there's too many flowers either. That's the thing. Like, I understand a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of flowers, but I I really do like them. I really do like them. Alright, I think that's all we've got time for this episode though. Uh, I am aware my episodes can be uh, short in comparison to other Let's Play series, but I often think to myself, you know, what sort of a Let's Play series would I want to watch? And although I do enjoy watching, uh, you know, series are you know half an hour long or whatever, you know, that's fine. I know uh, Etho, a lot of his episodes can be fairly long. Uh, I also do really enjoy really short episodes uh, from people that do SMPs or Let's Plays or whatever, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and that's kind of what I aim for, uh, so hopefully you don't mind. Um, but yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching. Usually at this point in an episode, or sometimes at the start, YouTubers will... Uh, tend to request certain things, I only have one request, and that is, regardless of your beliefs, political, religious, philosophical, I would ask that you remember that while we've got rights in this world, we also have a responsibility, an important responsibility, to remember that we are part of this world along with 7.5 billion other people and we have a responsibility to be good world citizens so for those of you who haven't clicked off the video yet just remember you too have the responsibility to be a good world citizen this day and every day thank you and good night